Hello, hello, hello. So I am going live again. I don't really know if I am live or not. Um, hey, <laughs> well, at least I know I have one friend on here. How are you? So um, uh, Kellen Botox, what's your real name? What's your first name? Okay, so I, um, last time, I didn't do something right, and so I didn't actually save my recording. So we're going to try this again. And so these are the pictures that I made last time, and they were jelly prints, meaning I had already had a pulled a couple layers down, and then I made some additional marks. And so these will be the prints that I finish throughout the week. So my process is kind of like a three part process. So my first part of the process is I will, let's just say, I will make a jelly pull, I will print, do a jelly print. Like this one is a jelly print. And then my next phase is I will, like this one has like probably four layers on it, three or four layers. And then next I will take some stencils and stencil on top some more marks and then, then I'll finish up with stamping so that's kind of how my process is and then on top of that I'll take some um, I'll take some paint pens and I'll make some final marks some final mark making on my pieces and I grabbed red which is probably not the best color to show you that um, red's not a good color for this one because it does, it's kind of outside. I mean, I probably could get away with some red marks on this one, but you're not going to see it because the, the colors are literally so close in color. So I won't even, I won't even play with that. Um, okay. So what I wanted to do was do this week's set of jelly pools. They, be they become the basis of what I play with. So I'm gonna put my stamping tool away and I think you're supposed to probably do this the setup ahead of time, right? <laughs> me bad, me bad. change of plan since no one's watching anyway, right? <laughs> anyway, so here's a pile of um, jelly prints that need some next generation of love to them. And so I kind of just kind of go through and see what I like. I like this one. I like that one. This one, not so much right now because I'm trying to look for some pieces that all that go together and so that the next layers that I put on will all kind of work together. So like this is probably a color family I could work with. These two are pretty much done. They just need some mark making. Um, these two would work too. These would be a set, maybe, maybe a set I can work on. Yeah, this would be a set. These four could work together as a set. How pretty is that, right? Okay, those could all work together as a set. And these could work together as a set for the week. And that's probably that's probably enough for this week to work on. I really have I really have made myself three sets, if you will. Um, and look, this one still goes in that palette, that's in that palette. that's in that palette this one is way over here okay so let's see what we have here to play with so in this set i have one this is probably three or four layers i see one layer here i see a second and i see this layer on top so that's three layers and then here's a layer it probably this is a jelly print it has one two at least three layers this one has one two three 
one, two, three, and that one. So I'm gonna just work, and the reason why I pull four is I move really fast and I don't do a lot of fretting, <laughs> if you will, over, over the pieces. I just kind of put down marks and keep it moving. And um, I recently did a haul of some of the stamps and supplies I have. And so I'm gonna just pull out some of these, get them ready, get them ready. These triangles, I have a theme going here with the triangles apparently. Um, these numbers are nice. So, I, it's, at some point in my art career, I will become a diligent um, artist and write down what I'm using to help you all in replicating. But I just have not been that, I have not been that girl. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's see what we got here. I got some stencils set out. I've got some base lines, and I'm just gonna play now. So, I like that black piece there. And I know you're probably like, why is she rubbing the page? And really, I am just um, seeing what it wants to see say to me. I I see some, some, whoa, some turquoise in the family here, because I have this orange. I have this beige, which is pretty, and then I have this black. I love the black creeping out in there. And I'm gonna go for it now. I don't know where I'm going actually, but we're just gonna go. I'm gonna put down some of this teal-like color here on the side. And this is from Sparks, and it's called Night Shadow. It's called Night Shadow. And I'm gonna add a little of, um, I want some more blue. Hmm, I guess I'll put some heavy. I was gonna put some turquoise in it, but I'm gonna use this one here. Yeah, that's good, look at that color. So when I do, um, Oftentimes when I jelly print, I will use, I will use a, uh, a more fluid or a, um, I will use one of your, like your golden fluids or a craft paint, or I'll mix a combination of the two. But then when I am stenciling onto something, which is what I'm about to do now, I'm about to stencil, I'm about to stencil onto I will use a little thicker. So I'm gonna use more of my thicker paint and less of my fluid. And I'm using a makeup sponge here. And um, there's really no rhyme or reason. I just kind of let, I think some people call it intuitive painting. Um, I don't, you know, <laughs> I just get lost in it. Normally I'd have on some kind of music and I just get lost in my thoughts and I enjoy not actually thinking or trying to figure it out. Like to me, that's part of the beauty. Like I honestly, I would love to be able to paint pictures and portraits, right? But that's not what speaks to me. You know, what speaks to me is is these marks and and knowing that there was once a time <laughs> when uh, this is how people communicated, right? Well, if you look in if you look in like caves or hieroglyphics on the pyramids or you know just across everywhere, pretty much people used marks to communicate and and. This was some kind of language that they spoke. And then it was interesting, which I find the most fascinating is, you know, you can look at some of those marks now and they still convey something, like you still get something out of it. So I am going to move from this piece and see I have paint here. That's why I work in like 
sets of four or something because I still have all this paint and I'm not going to let the paint go to waste because you know what I'm saying that paint is expensive so I'm going to take this one which is it's a very dominant picture and we're going to go with uh, I think I'm going to go with some little marks just to see what happens right because that is such a profound um now sometimes you'll watch me and you'll be like oh my gosh she is going to mess up that picture and don't worry sometimes i think the exact same thing <laughs> but most of the time i just kind of get lost in the day like today was a day i mean oh my gosh i have a lot of work to do high stress um high execution and accuracy was needed you know so i had to be fully present in the thought process of figuring stuff out so now it's not that i'm escaping it's just i'm allowing maybe my subconscious to have a minute to have a moment to play where you know i think because i'm such uh oh I made a mistake, but that's okay, we'll keep rolling. Because I'm such a type A, everything always has to be accurate <laughs> um, person. And, you know, the stakes are extremely high in my field. I'm not, you know, I'm not just going to work to go to work. I'm going to work and there are people's lives are dependent on the exec my execution of things, right? So when I can come into the studio and connect with, another part of me that needs to breathe, if you will. Um, yeah, so, so I pause in my statement because when I look at this picture, it is very, it's a very bold picture, right? Like it's a, it is a strong picture. This print on there, the, the red coming through that gold is a very bold. And so I want to kick it back a little bit, but I don't want to soften it. And so, you know, I'm listening to it tell me what to do. Kind of like, you know, which turn do we go to? I have all these supplies right in front of me, but where do you want to go? Because it's a very bold, bold print, but it's it can be overpowering and it needs a, sp a place to sing. And so as I'm talking, I'm, I'm looking um, for different like which 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 direction do I go white uh, mm, it's tough because I really like this image I even like the little turquoise triangle bits um, I could go hmm, maybe we do some bigger bits yeah we'll do some bigger bits and uh, tough it's tough sometimes so sometimes I can just I go free and then other times I have to do this little dance like and I think that's part of maybe that's part of the art too it's it's I want to be loose and free and unabandoned and not think but at the same time I want to honor what's showing up and what's showing up on is this is a very powerful piece and I don't want it to get lost like I don't want to cover it up but why don't I want to cover it up becomes the question right like why <laughs> is is it is it fear that I'll lose something or is it because it demands times I'm required to to listen, take some risks, but also to remind myself it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, what's the worst that could happen? I throw it away. Like, like somebody would say, Rachel, did you just put mud down? I did. I literally just put a block of mud down on the page. And somehow, I kid you not, this is going to work out. I don't know. I probably should have put some more black in it because it is very much a bronzy color. And so now I have this bronze and this gold. Now, I will be able to play this off later. Uh-huh. Um, and it's actually, I like it because it's kicking... It's kicking back some of the bold gold that you see and giving me some very rich tones. Uh, it was an interesting, it was an interesting turn <laughs> and uh, I kind of like it. I, I don't think, 
I don't think I consciously would have chosen that color. So we are gonna go with, that's what it wanted to do. And trust the process that when this ends, somehow that will probably be what I enjoy most about this picture is the boom that I kicked it back with that color. Now, because I have all this paint out, I'm going to, I'm gonna leverage some. I'm not gonna put it front and center because uh, I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm gonna put it here and give it some, some depth, more layers. I like, ooh, now see that was, that what we call it, we call it Juicy J. That was way too much paint in that little spot. But we'll just keep on keeping on here and try to kick back some of my, I like it, I do like it, I like, and you see I keep adding it because it has a different, it has a different feel, that brown in that one. Okay, now I don't have to keep using the same stencil, but I do wanna finish using my paint, but I'm not opposed to it either though, right? Mm -mm. Not at all actually. So I'm going to maybe make, make this into a full pattern, meaning I'm going to create this as a dominant piece in this picture now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I used up all of that color and now I can go to the next color. Now I'm going to balance it off here. We'll give it kind of like a half. Mm-hmm, there we go. All righty, so we finished that one. And, and because I'm making a set, I'm going to try to squeeze out, I'm gonna squeeze out, I'm just gonna see what I have left in my brush, here in my little, um, I don't have a lot in here, but, you know, a girl don't like to waste nobody's paint. <laughs> so there we go. All righty. Okay, so we've used what two colors now? Two colors. Have we just used two? Yeah, we've just used two. All right. So we went with a. Um, I'm gonna start with this one. Let this one di direct our path next. And um, you don't have any turquoise but we're not gonna go for turquoise. We're gonna go with, um, where's my Payne's Gray? Payne's Gray is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors uh, in the blue family. I either I have two loves in the blue family. I have Payne's Gray <laughs> and, uh, and that was the golden Payne's Gray. And then I have, hey, Jackie. <laughs> And then I have um, this Vallejo paints great. Now what's interesting about this Vallejo brand is it's made out of Mexico and it's very much like the golden brand in, in a sense that it, um, it's very fluid, but it's actually more fluid than, um, and you see, I still got some turquoise on there. So we got, I don't know what this blue is gonna look like, but we're gonna mix it up here. We're gonna mix it. Um, oh, I was gonna say it's more fluid than the golden, and and you notice that both of those are Payne's gray, but one looks gray and one looks navy blue. So we just kind of mixed them together and made I don't know a triple a double Payne's. Um, so let's see what we got here. So over here on my side, I got some more stencils. And what happens in my in my little world is whatever I can see <laughs> is what gets used, which is a sad thing. Like, you know, I know people think that I really spend a lot of time selecting stencils. I wish, I wish that was my story. It's so not, it literally is what is next to me and that's what gets put down. And so right now I have this little, 
have this little bitty, ooh, you know what? Mm. I, sh I have a big stencil, but I don't want to get it. I don't want to look for it. Not not while you guys are st standing by. I don't want to look for it. So we're going to make do with what we got. Okay, so let me get a different makeup sponge. These makeup sponges right here are, this was the world's best invention. <laughs> you go to dollar store and you can get a pack of these makeup sponges from the dollar store and they last forever. So we are just going to put a little, some of these little ancient marks here because that's what this series is called. And we are just going to let it, let it speak into the page. Now I am not trying to make it dark. I'm trying to actually make it kind of light. And so I don't like it looking like a square. So I'm going to try to randomly, but not make it look, there we go. Make it look square-like. So how was your day, Jackie? <laughs> you are probably like me and uh, watching and doing something else. That's what I do when I watch people on um, Instagram Live. I'm always doing something else like washing the dishes or cooking dinner, you know? <laughs> and so I hope you had a great day. I had a crazy Monday. And so this is my way of um, filling my cup back up, if you will, uh, so that I can return um, fully charged. You know what I'm saying? And this is my way of listening. I make marks and it makes me happy. Oh, you cleaned your house, God bless. <laughs> Girl, I know what you mean about that. You have a beautiful house, by the way. I love the way you decorated your house. Um, yeah, so my house is, is in a state of transition right now. And by that, I mean um, we are getting ready for the school year. And I've got, a key, um, last year we homeschooled. Um, well, let me just say that because I don't want you guys to think that I homeschooled. Um, <laughs> last year I hired a private educator to to teach my to teach my two young ones and um and that worked out great um but i have i have some social butterflies my daughter is a social butterfly and though she enjoys enjoys the attention and the one-on-one -on -one, she also uh really 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 uh loves to be the center of everyone's attention, not just one person. And so uh, she's ready for school. She she really wants to go back, you know, to go to school, and um, and and to go to. So so we are. And I have a six year old who thinks he's a man, and I really like this one. Sorry about that. He thinks he's a man, and um, you know he he's you know spreading his wings and 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 stuff, and. Uh, he kicked the sister out of out their room. So he demanded he's six. He needed his own room. And so, well, that meant that we've got to, you know, you can't just kick your sister out. She needs somewhere to go. And now sister girl, though, has been ready for her princess bedroom, I think, since she came out. You know what I mean? And so um, <laughs> she is like, oh, okay, deuces. I'm ready for that. And so so we're, that's why I say my house is in a, in a state of disarray right now because I have, I'm transitioning them out of out out of each other's rooms, and so my the, the the little man, his room he for his sixth birthday, he got a Minecraft room. That's what he got. Now I see I know you see me shuffling papers. That's because I have a whole lot of paint left, and I have nowhere to paint um, because all my pieces have paints gray on them. So we're gonna pull out another sheet. 
we'll pull out another sheet and uh, just use this up. So anyway, back to my story. So Priscilla, um, so Mr. Isaac, there was a whole lot of paint on there. Sorry about that. We'll act like that was what it was supposed to be. <laughs> my bad. My bad. No mistakes. Just love. Just love. Um, back to what I was saying. So Isaac, we got, got, he got a Minecraft bedroom for his birthday. But Priscilla is getting her, um, what does she call it? Uh, she has a whole theme, Jackie. She's a woman after your heart, truly. She's got a she's got a whole concept. I mean, like mood board and everything. She didn't Pinterest out the all of Pinterest and found all the unicorn decor available in the whole world, and it's in this board. And so her theme, Jackie, you'll appreciate this. Her theme for her bedroom is. You, uh, rainbow unicorn with gold glitter. That's what I'm saying. So I have to work with this. This is what I'm working with. So now I got to figure out how we're going to make this rainbow unicorn with gold glitter. And because she has a mermaid bath, I mean, because she has a bathroom, her bathroom is uh, cheetah mermaids. Now, what am I supposed to do with that, Jack? <laughs> cheetah mermaids. You got me looking all over the world for cheetah mermaid bathroom. I'm gonna make it happen, you know what I'm saying? But that's just added pressure, because now I'm, you know, I need to just call you and say, go for it, right? Let you do your thing. But anyway, okay, so I, I'm still trying to, so sometimes this, this whole exercise is a exercise and I'm, a, I'm not wasting no paint. And so I will just look around and find stuff to decorate because I'm not gonna waste any paint. I'm not gonna do it. That's just, that's just it's a principle I have, like, you know, somewhere in the, and my core value system is I didn't pay good money for this paint. <laughs> I'm not wasting not one. I owe it. Of course, now I done lost my makeup sponge. Okay, here we go. So this is why you see all these layers on my thing. And people be like, well, what color did you use? And yeah, I don't know. Because I don't even think about it. I'm I'm just kind of kind of staying in the color. I know what contrasts and what you know goes together. And you know, a little color theory goes a long way. And then a little uh, frugality as it comes to cheap, to paint, like I ain't wasting no paint, it makes a girl determined to get all the paint off her, off her palette. Okay, I think I got it all. Now I'm just being, I'm just being. <laughs> Actually, but I like it. I like how the blue is popping on that green cream color. I really do like that. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Ooh, look, ooh, 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 look, I got paint on my scraper. That means I got a little more to play with. What? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. Now I wasn't supposed to be playing with this piece, but somehow it it it, it came and wanted to be played with. I thought this piece was done. Mm. It didn't said, no, Rachel. We want some love too. Alrighty, and that's good. Look at that. I know, waste not one. This is a paint is expensive. So a couple years back, um, I decided to invest, right? Like, so I have. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not an art snob, right? Meaning, girlfriend owns a collection of craft paint, and I love my craft paint. I use my craft paint. Why? Because they have eight hundred million colors. You see what I'm saying? A girl has options when she's got craft paint. But I realized that it, sometimes it looks kind of faded, so which is why I normally will blend my craft paint with different types of craft paints. So I've got my Blicks, but ain't nothing like golden. Oh, like it should say, every time you touch golden, it should go, oh. And then, because I like my girls from across the pond, they didn't made me hip to Matisse. Oh, this stuff right here is so rich and heavy. But anyway, we'll talk paints and stuff later. So I just wanted to play. I played with, I'm going to show you where we came, what what we worked on today. Let me just re retract. I'll do it real slow. I'm not finished with these pieces by any means, but a girl got to get home and cook. <laughs> and uh, so this is what we did today. So we started off, up oh, one more piece, one more piece. Look at that. Now, what, what's necessary on all of these is, um, what I did on this layer was I just added stencils and paint. So what I will come back tomorrow is tomorrow I'll come back and stamp and add some more layers because that's really the method to my madness. So we worked on this one today 
and I think what well, we added like three layers. We added the turquoise, we added this little bronzy brown, and we added the blue. So now it's got a lot of layers. Okay. And then this one was actually supposed to have been a finished piece, but because a girl had, I still got more blue over here. A girl had some blue paint, we we added some blue dots on it. And I like it because it kicks off, it kicks the green, it like makes the green pop, which is cool. I guess that's green. Yeah, the problem when you mix a lot of paints, you kind of, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, <laughs> um, this one is far from being done. It is still very, it's still very hollow. I still got lots of space, but it's got lots of layers. It's got at least two in the orange. It's got one here. It's got a yellow layer. Then I added the turquoise and I've added this Payne's gray today. So this one will be top of mind to work on later. Another one that's not finished, lots of space, but I added some more layers. This one we added. We don't have any turquoise. This one is going very dark. It was a very light and now it's gotten dark, so I will probably kick it back up to make it light. It's funny that this one, I'm looking at this one, it's very dark. So somehow we will bring some lightness into this one. This one, I like the white space. I added what, it already had like four layers, and so we added the turquoise and we added these triangles to that one. And this one came out of nowhere. We just pulled this one because it was over there and we added these little brown spots or blue spots. Eh, not loving that one yet. <laughs> and then this one again, another one that's got, needs a lot of work. So the only one that's probably closest to being complete is this one, but that's okay. What I'll do is I will leave all of these out so they can dry because if I stack them up, they'll stick together. And then tomorrow after work, I will come back and add some more layers and maybe pull out some more stencils and stamps. And right now, before I, I'm just saying goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, Jackie. I really enjoyed the company. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Now, hopefully I can do this right, because last time I did not do this right. So I'm going to press end, and I'm going to...